Hey guys, Mateo here. Uh, on today's episode of Mateo's Drunk Kitchen, I'm going to be doing some scrambled eggs, um, Mateo style. Um, so, let's get started. Uh, so what I need to start is some bacon. Um, it's just in a bread bag for fridge purposes. A Worcester. We'll get to that in a minute. Some garlic, some onion powder, some salt and pepper, two eggs, and an apple pie to eat later. Uh, two potatoes. One slightly messed up, but we'll cut that out. And a very small onion. Uh, you will also need a frying pan um, to cook your stuff in. I've used a uh, T-Fall because I like their stuff. I like the cut of their jib as they say. This bacon has a lot of fat even though it says it's reduced salt. Um, the grease content's probably enormous. Oh, that's fat. So we're going to cut it out, cook it up, see how it goes. So we're going to start off our scrambled eggs by uh, frying up some bacon and then cutting up a worst into it. A knack worst. Uh, we're going to start by dicing up the uh, the bacon and the knack worst. Um, then we will put them in the frying pan on low heat while we get the rest of the ingredients set. I usually put my pans on to heat uh, with some water in them, that way they stay hot without um, destroying the uh, surfacing stuff. At this point I have it on low, so adding the oil, which is conveniently contained in a small ketchup bottle so you don't dump in too much. But since I'm going to be putting bacon in, I didn't really need to do this, but uh, you need to do this. Top tip, wash your hands before starting, um, or if you get drunk enough, just start, and the diseases will make you healthier.
All right, let's move on to the knack horse. Now, you'll want to cut the ends off because uh, it's basically just hard plastic shit. Um, and then you'll see I cut it down lengthwise and then I dice it as I go. And again, just into fours and then slice down. So we're going to dump this in there with the bacon. And with the bacon. Mmm, bacon. Now let's get dicey and dice up the onion. Uh, so the way I like to do it is I like to cut it into halves and then slice it down, dice it up from there. Um, I'll be dumping half into the pot and then half into the egg mixture. Time for some eggs. Let's get cracking. Uh, don't forget to stir this every once in a while.
You can add some salt and some pepper at this juncture. Now I like to add some milk. to add some garlic paste maybe a little too much but hey So now you want to mix that well. I like the garlic. Excellent. So now I'm going to uh, wash and peel uh, my potatoes and then I'm going to um, shred them into my uh, concoction. So now that we've done that, you want to get your grater and shred them into your pan. I use the grater side with the shoestrings. Uh, I find that they come out the best.
Okay, so now that you've shredded your potatoes into your uh, concoction, let it sit and soak up some of the uh, grease slash oil slash flavoring uh, for a couple of minutes, and then we shall move on. In the meantime, you deserve a drink. keep in mind that um, having fresh potatoes also means there is some water content that will be released uh, so you want to just leave it on medium for now until that water starts to come out um, and then you can slowly boil it away if you get too carried away um, you'll end up with little bricks of grated potatoes uh, which although fun uh, is not exactly what we're going for. So you want to just keep stirring, try and break up any lumps, um, just let the potatoes soak up the oil as you're going, and um, yeah. Okay. Uh, don't forget to stir this every once in a while. So, you want to wait until your potatoes um, have the color slash consistency of some sautéed onions. It smells awesome. Um, at this juncture, you want to introduce your egg mixture into the concoction and get this show on the road. Okay, so um, for the first half of the cooking section, I had the dial on four. Um, now that I've introduced the egg mixture, I crank the heat up to six. Um, yeah, because I don't want to stay here forever and um, the eggs cook you want to cook them fast, which means a lot of heat, very quickly, get it over with. Um, if you stay too long, they basically become rubber, and you don't want that to happen. Asolo mio! Yeah. 
you want to put a cover on it for a little while at least um, to start cooking the top of the mixture uh, So give it three minutes, um, let it form a nice crust, and then um, smash it up and try and flip it over as best as you can, or try and flip it over, but that never works. Um, and then yeah, let the rest cook for about three minutes more, and um, meh, should be okay. Uh, if it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger. All right, all right. Looking like dynamite. All right, another minute to go, and we're good to go. All right, so now that we've sufficiently burned the crap out of our food, um, we're going to put it on the plate and eat it up. I don't know about you, but it smells damn good and it looks damn good, so it should be damn good. Um, have a look. So I've got some bacon, some knockwurst, and eggs and some onion minced up uh, in there and uh, should be good to go so I'm gonna put some ketchup on her and uh, eat her up all right bud do her see you guys later bye
Yabadi! <laughs>